that is amazing. I can't even get my pinky to move by itself. There we go. That. <laughs> Welcome back. So I have got part two of my 2019 favorites for y'all today. So today is going to be eyes and lips. I decided to separate those into their very own category because I have a lot to talk about in those categories. Mainly eyes just because y'all know my love for eyeshadow palettes. So I thought I would give some extra time to chatting about eye stuff. So yeah, I've got a lot to share. So let's just jump in. Okay, so jumping in with eyeshadow primer and brows. So I was trying to think about it and I'm like, what were the things that I reached for the most? And I really just picked out these two things from each of these categories that I grabbed for the most consistently throughout the year. So first off for eyeshadow primer, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer, great primer. So what I'm looking for personally for me in a primer is something that's a little bit smoothing that will help my eyeshadows go on well, but mainly for helping with longevity, preventing creasing. I have oily eyelids, so I'm going for oil control and preventing creasing. And that totally is what this delivers. It's so affordable and works so, so well. I mean, it's my go-to. And then the IT Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil. This one says Brow Powerful Volumizing Eyebrow Pencil, but so I don't know if this one's different, but the ones that look like this, I've used them before. This is a different one, but I've used one in the past. It was just the regular. I don't think I can notice a difference in them. The brow pencils from IT Cosmetics that are like the brow, the universal brow pencil like this is what I like. So it's that kind of angled, sort of a brow pencil. So I mean, it just, it's easy. It's quick and fast. You can do the inner part, like the inner part of the brow. <laughs> you can do the tail of the brow. Um, yeah, it really is pretty universal. I mean, this one's a little bit dark for me, so I kind of have to either be light-handed with it or go over my brows with a little bit of powder if they get a little bit too dark and intense. But I would say universal for most people, I think this would work. So yeah, and I noticed it seems to be pretty long wearing. Any brow pencil, if I wipe my face and I, I've got oil on my skin, my natural oils have come through and I wipe my face, my brow is probably gonna come off. Because if you think about it, that's essentially an like a makeup remover. You've got like oil on your skin. So, I mean, it's not gonna last through me wiping my own oils across my brows, but it wears well just for the day to day. It wears well. I don't even know how to tackle all these eye favorites. So I'm just gonna start grabbing things and talking through them. So first off the Essence Melted Chrome Eyeshadow. This is so metallic-y and pretty. This one is in Zinc About You. It's my favorite. It's a very pretty kind of rosy sort of a color. It's awesome. Um, I don't know if this is still available, but the ColourPop Pigment in Red Zone Wowie, this is so metallic-y and shimmery and light catching. I love this on the eyes and I love it as a cheek highlighter too. It does have shimmer in it, so just FYI on it, but I absolutely love it. Like I said, I don't know if that's still available, but if it is, I'll link it down below for you. The J-Cat Beauty Prismetal shadows are so gorgeous. If you, oh, I don't wanna flip you off there. If you love metallic-y, super intense shadows, these are totally it. Look at that right there. That is so pretty. This is in Frosty Foil. Really pretty kind of silvery, champagne white sort of shade. Makeup Geek Peach Bellini. This is a beautiful peachy palette. Love this on the eyes, but it's great on the cheeks as well. As blush, as highlighter. This has an amazing texture. I love Makeup Geek shadows. I mean, they are, in my opinion, some of the best, easiest to work with shadows because they are pigmented, but blend so seamlessly. The wear time is so good on them. I mean, I'm just blown away by her shadows. Her metallics are so just light catching and intense, but I mean, the mattes are blendable and just so good. So love this palette. Um, the... BH Cosmetics Zodiac Capricorn Palette. I really like this one because it's a beautiful bronzy sort of palette. I love bronzy shades and this one totally has those sort of colors in it. It's just pretty. It's just a pretty bronzy palette. 
intense colors, easy to work with and blend, super affordable. It's a great one. ColourPop palettes wore them a ton this year, had so many different favorites. Tried to narrow down, I think I did pretty good. The Sweet Talk palette, this is such a pretty peachy palette. It is gorgeous on the eyes, blendable, pigmented, light catching, just so flattering on the eyes, but really pretty on the cheeks as well as blush, as highlighter. So this is one of those palettes that totally worked in that way. Absolutely love it. Continuing on with a couple more ColourPop favorites. Um, I'm trying to, I was trying to think. I mean, that, that uh, Sweet Talk is probably my favorite from earlier in the year, but later in the year, I really enjoyed these two. The Whatever palette, ooh, it's so like burgundy, intense, gorgeous. I actually did wear this as a blush and it worked. I had to be very light-handed with it, but it was really pretty as a blush. I mean, these are just so intensely pigmented and easy to work with and just long wearing amazing quality for the price and the packaging is always stunning just so impressive with how they can come out with so many new collections and products on the regular and they're always gorgeous the bye bye birdie palette oh look at this it is so gorgeous this one is more of a a plummy pinky sort of a palette but there are some really pretty glitters in here oh my goodness I just love the whole palette. It is amazing. Again, great as highlighters, great as blushes as well. So this is another one of those that worked great in that way. I love BH Cosmetics. If you watch my channel, you are fully aware of that because I talk about their palettes all the time. I set up reminders in my phone for some of their new releases. Same scenario as ColourPop in that it's just so amazing what they can do for such a great price point. I mean, just create the most beautiful, great quality palettes. I love all their products. I have several, well, I have another thing that I can think of that I'm gonna chat with you guys about, but I think they just make great products, but especially their eyeshadow palettes. I think ColourPop wins in the um, design and packaging department, but quality, I think that they are both very, very impressive. And I think that, I mean, their packaging totally still works, but ColourPop is the one that like super wows me with their packaging. Okay, the Santa Fe palette. Love this for the theme because I love Santa Fe, but also this is a gorgeous palette. If you love sunset sort of eye looks, I think you really enjoy this palette. I mean, their mattes are so blendable. I have makeup all over my pajama pants. I just keep wiping off all these swatches and keeping on going. <laughs> the mattes are so blendable and easy to work with, but their metallic -y shades are stunning as well. So if you like that sunset sort of eye look, Santa Fe is gorgeous. I have loved their baked shadows for years and years. So they keep adding to their, um, I don't know what they call this, like the galaxy line or something like that. And they're always so pretty. This one is Stellar Collision. I also really love Aurora Lights. That one's more um, like pops of color, but this one is super duper glowy. I really like them um, dry as a cheek highlighter or even a blush like that one. But um, on the eyes, I usually use a setting spray with their baked shadows, but I mean, you can see, they're still intensely pigmented without a setting spray. But I typically will use them with a setting spray because it brings out that super metallic pop to them. So yes. And last one I'm gonna say for just a second. Gotta mention the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice palette. This was part of a set that HSN had. I think this was also available maybe on QVC, but I got it, um, they sent this to me. Um, this was part of the set from HSN. And I just think this is such a great neutral palette. These are so silky and blendable, really a nice texture to them. I love this palette because it is just a great one that you can reach for to create a really beautiful, flattering, neutral eye look, but you can also pair it with other things. So it's a great kind of grounder palette, pairing with other things palette, or just standalone palette. It is just amazing quality, really easy to work with, smells nice. I think the whole design is cute. It's a good one. And then y'all, if I had to pick one palette for the whole year, I was thinking through, I think it would have to be this one. The BH Cosmetics Marvin Magnificent 15 color shadow and highlighter palette. I raved and raved about this palette when I first got it. I just love this. I mean, I still feel the same way about it. Beautiful neutral shadows up here, peachy, 
warm sort of colors, but then gorgeous highlighters here that are stunning as actual highlighters or just so pretty on the eyes as well. This color right here is what I have on the inner corners of my eyes. That is amazing. <laughs> I can't even get my pinky to move by itself. There we go. That, <laughs> that is amazing. Gorgeous color. I love it. Oh my gosh. The mattes, again, blendable, easy to work with. The metallic -y shades are so light catching. This is just fresh and beautiful on the face. That's why I love it so much. So it's neutral, but with those metallic -y sort of shadows and highlighters in them, in there, it just, it makes it something special and so glowy and gorgeous. Liners, I think I narrowed it down to three that were kind of my go-tos. Um, I do really like, do I have one in here? Oh, I don't know if I do. I think I used them all up that I had in my little like carrier that I'll bring in here for videos, but I really do enjoy the Laura Geller Incredible Liners and also the Eye Care Liners. Those are both really good. I reach for those a lot. I'll list them down below. Um, but then also these I think would be my most reached for go-to liners. For a winged liner, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I just love this because it's like the perfect shape to the applicator. Um, I love the texture of it, that it's just, it's just liquidy enough to go on well and be pigmented, but not that it runs everywhere as you're applying it. Um, the applicator is bendy enough, but not too bendy. Um, it wears really well. The actual product itself lasts for a long time. So it's just been a go-to of mine for years. And then these great pencil liners, the Rimmel Scandalized 24 hour um, coal liner or something like that. Waterproof gel pencils. Oh, that's what they're called. They're not coal. Waterproof gel pencils. Yes, I have a, have it in brown and black. They are, the brown is what I have on today. They glide on the eyes so well, but they wear well throughout the day. They're affordable. They're pretty. They come in different colors. I use these the most. I love the idea of affordable and just works well. And that's totally what these are. Mascaras, I had some favorites kind of come and go throughout the year, but the ones that I reached for the most consistently throughout the year were these three right here. The CoverGirl Clump Crusher for my lower lashes, I find that it smudges the least and the applicator, I can apply it um, well for the under eyes. It's just kind of a, a curvy sort of an applicator so I can get to my lower lashes and then I don't find a lot of smudging with it. So really like this. And then these two, this combination for my upper lashes. This is a new one this year that I just love. The BH Cosmetics Stellar Lash. Oh, this is so volumizing. This is a little mini, but this is so volumizing and just builds on itself. I mean, it's like close to the drugstore equivalent of the It Cosmetics Superhero. I wouldn't say it's quite as amazing, but it's moving towards the experience of this one. Volume, length, super black lashes, builds on itself, gives you Vavoom lashes, so good. And I love the packaging of it. That's a little fun bonus. And then the It Cosmetics Superhero, been a favorite for years. The most like faux lashes look with a mascara. It's a thicker, gloopier <laughs> sort of a formula to it. Um, you know, you just, I was going to say you don't need a lot, meaning I would wipe it off your brush. So you don't need a lot on your brush. Uh, but I do apply a lot of coats. You don't need a lot of coats, but it builds on itself really well. Like if you want the most Vavoom lashes you can get, I just keep going with it and it builds on itself really well. Again, same thing as this volume length, really black lashes, closest look to false lashes without wearing false lashes that I found in a mascara. Both of these do get up on my eyelid a little bit, but 99% of mascaras do. So I will usually top it with this and just apply a little bit on the tips of my lashes to help with that. So I'm just like a test case with smudging with mascara. It's very little with these two, so that's really good for me. Very little is really good. <laughs> and that's what I experienced with these. And lip favorites. Okay, let's talk about um, liners first. So let me grab these here. I would say two different types. The Jordana Easy Liner for Lips. These are a little bit harder to find nowadays, but Tawny and Baby Berry are two of my favorites. Really pretty pinky mauve shade. Go to neutral. It goes with so many different things. Tawny is so, so good. Just like a never failure. 
You can throw it in your purse. It's going to match so many different lip colors. It's a great one. And then the Wet n Wild ones. I really love these. These make me happy because I feel like they're a really good, um, I wouldn't say dupe, but sort of same idea as the Jordana ones. They are comfortable on the lips, easy to apply. Um, you could fill in your lips with them. They just have a really good texture to them. I'm wearing Lay Down the Mauves right now with a Maybelline lipstick that I'll mention to you in a second. So great texture to them. They have lots of different colors. They're very affordable. I generally don't want to spend a lot on the lip liner, so I like the idea of an affordable good lip liner, and this is one of them. So Red the Scene is this red one. This one is Lay Down the Mauves, and this one is Bare to Comment. Really pretty neutral. I would say a good same idea as Tawny. These guys from Milani are awesome. These are the Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. They're basically just a really beautiful gloss, like a, a pigmented gloss. So I have it in several different colors, but some of my favorites, sparkling pink, um, champagne, pretty, pretty. And this one is my favorite. This is soft rose. It is a gorgeous, pinky, mauve neutral sort of color. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. So it has tons of gloss to it. Just catches the light beautifully but then it also has good color to it too. But they also have ones like Champagne is a little bit more, um, I mean, it has more color to it, but well, I was gonna say it's um, less opaque, but really I think it's just the nature of the color. The color is just a little bit lighter. So yeah, they're amazing and affordable. I just kind of jumped in with lip glosses. So I guess we're talking about glosses first <laughs> after liners. Okay, also really enjoy these. The Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipsticks gorgeous on the lips. These are so pretty. Um, peach Stole My Look is one of my favorites. It's a beautiful peachy sort of shade, but it's also, it's a neutral and peachy. And then this one also, Chic Got Real. Chic Got Real. This one's a really pretty mauve color. Just let me show you. Again, these are super opaque, but also have a lot of shine that catches the light. They wear well. Um, I think they're flattering looking on the lips and affordable. No shocker here, because I talk about them all the time, but Maybelline lipsticks, they are just affordable and such good quality and they have so many pretty colors. They do have a Play-Doh-y sort of a scent to them, so I could see that being um, maybe off-putting to some people, but I've worn them for so long that I don't mind the scent at all. If anything, they kind of make me think, oh, Maybelline lipsticks, which I love, so the scent doesn't bother me. Some of my favorites, Touch of Spice. This has been around for years. It is a gorgeous, um, mauve blushy sort of a color. Um, Clay Crush, beautiful, warm, nudie sort of color, but has, you know, some good color to it, so it's not a really light nude. Um, Lust for Blush. This one reminds me of, like, Kat Von D Mother. It is a um, rosy, mauve sort of a color, but it's got, like, a a good um, pinkiness to it. So that's really pretty. And then what I have on right now is Romantic Rose. Oh, this one is so gorgeous. Neutrally pink color. I think these are just really creamy and flattering on the lips. I like their regular line, but I also really love their creamy mattes. Long wearing, low maintenance, affordable, pretty on the lips, tons of colors. They're go-tos for me. Also gotta mention the Wet n Wild Mega Last lipsticks. These are like two bucks and they are awesome. They're super low maintenance. This one is mauve out of here. Really pretty pinky color. Love their reds because they're just low maintenance. Um, this one's more of, the, of a berry color. Oh no, this is a, I would say a raspberry. This is cherry picking. Look how pretty. That's gonna stain my hand if I leave that on there. Already started to stain. I forgot how that one is like really, it'll stain quick. But I mean, you don't have to worry about it on your lips. You put it on your lips and it's just low maintenance. Again, comfortable, I think flattering looking on the lips. Tons of colors, two or three bucks. They're awesome. Not fancy packaging, but who cares? Because the product inside works great. Also really enjoyed MAC lipsticks this year. I honestly love them pretty much every year. They're just go-to lipsticks for me. I love their formula. I love their colors, but specifically some nudes that I discovered this year that I really enjoyed. Still have them in the boxes because who knows why. I think because I can quickly see the colors, so that's kind of nice. This one is Bosom Friend, very light nude, but so pretty with a liner. The formula is great, smells nice. This one is Act Natural. This one is 
more of a taupey nude. So pretty. And I think this one, yeah, this one's a matte. So gorgeous. Um, Bear Bling. Ooh, this one's nice. This one's more of kind of a tanny, um, like a little bit funky sort of a nude. It's great. Also had to throw this guy in here for fall. I loved this so much. This is um, Wet n Wild's Extra Cinnamon Please, the perfect fall lip color. I mean, just so perfect. So absolutely love this. This was a new discovery this year and it was just such a standout during the fall. And I would have to say Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I just think these are so luxurious and beautiful. This is Nude Kate, gorgeous kind of tanny nude. And then this one is very Victoria. This is a really pretty um, kind of a, a light neutral taupey mauve sort of a shade. So these are pricey, fancy lipsticks, but they look fancy. They feel fancy. They're weighty. The quality of them is amazing. They smell nice. They look pretty on the lips. So they feel like a luxurious experience using them. So they're fancy and luxurious, but they deliver. So they have that fancy price tag, but they deliver on that experience with the product. So really enjoyed these two. Okay, y'all, so that wraps up part two of my 2019 favorites. So hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what your favorites would be for eyes and lips for the year. I would love to hear your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!